the neighborhood we grew up in was a very hard-working, tight-knit community. Families going to church on Sunday, kids playing in the front yard. Mommy got us these bright blue matching bikes with banana seats, and we were surrounded by caring adults. This neighborhood on Bancroft Way, we've spent so much time here. Behind me is where it all began. Her mom, Shamala, rented the apartment that was above the Shelton's nursery. So in the beginning, Mrs. Shelton used to babysit the girls. Shama was a single mom. Life was not easy for them, but she loved her daughters fiercely. Kamala herself says that her mom told her that she may be the first to do many things, but to make sure that she's not the last. She's always been that kind of person, a true leader, and very protective of her friends and her family. When Kamala was all of four years old, her best friend in kindergarten, Stacy Johnson, got into something with another kid on the playground. This one particular day, we had made some clay art, and this one boy in our class had taken mine for whatever reason and threw it on the ground, and it shattered. So Kamala, being very protective, just jumped in front of me and stood up to him. To me, that shows the kind of person that she has always been, to stand up to the bully and to stand up for the underdog and to stand up for what is right. Kamala carries the lesson of our mother, the fighting spirit of our mother, the compassion, and I have seen it over and over again in our growing up. When we were in high school, my sister's friend, Wanda, was being molested by a family member, and Kamala just jumped in. She wanted her to come and stay with us, and Mommy said, of course, that is Kamala. She can't help herself from standing up for people and standing up for what she thinks is right. She has been that way our whole lives. Being a protector is what led her to become a prosecutor. Looking back now, I could say it was her calling.